What up? Back again. Okay, so like I was saying, this mesh stuff here, which I'm used to divide the water. I don't know, see, it can't, can't get around, can't get up, can't in between, so it kind of divides them. And it, like I was saying, it was 69 cents, I believe. So right here is my females, and they're all conditioning right now. And and the males over here, you know, swimming about, doing their thing. You know, got a water filter, got the heater, keep them all, you know, they don't really need a heater, Zebra Daniels, that's the great thing about having them. Uh, here, I'll tell you guys, you can feed them just about anything, but it, if you really can, feed them, uh, they like, they like krill. And uh, right now I'm feeding them some cichlid food, because I had some of that extra from my other fish and I don't really like giving it to them so it gets their, cloud, their tank all cloudy. Um, see, like the, they're nice and chubby. I've been feeding them krill. I've been feeding them uh, some of my arowana food ground up because that's for all like, carnivores. Um, I think by tomorrow, I'm gonna t tonight maybe even, I'll throw them into my other tank to uh, hopefully get them to start breeding. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. So basically, here's my other little mini tank. It's got, uh, did it both little styles, you know, everyone says do marbles, right? So, I figured I'd do both. I did marbles at the bottom, because what happens is the eggs fall in between, and uh, since the zebra dinos are carnivores, they uh, tend to eat their young and all that kind of stuff, so best way to do it is not let that happen and then uh, have more eggs also another quick thing to know is uh, try not to do this as often as you can because um, they usually eat their eggs to keep the proteins and stuff like that so that's why we feed them lots and that's why it's kind of a bit of conditioning also I did the same I got that green meshy stuff I cut it out here throw that on the bed you can kind of see that a little better cut out the shape Kept trimming it down until it fit in perfectly for that. So, just throw in that. Have the heater set to about 78 to about uh, 80 degrees is perfect temperature. Fresh water. Try not to feed them while they're in there because you know you've been feeding them really good maybe three to five times a day if you got the chance to. Um, yeah, and then basically what will happen after is. Uh, You'll get uh, zebra daniel fry after that. So there you go. That uh, concludes to that. And I feed my zebra daniel fry. Baby um, formula is basically egg yolk and a little syringe in their fish tank water. And uh, yeah, I did it with a little shot of uh, good old arowana. Beautiful thing. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully that helped out. And if not, have some uh, comments to leave me, and I'll answer what I can. Ciao.